itself, hit a button. Oh, I am sorry. This is going to be part three. <laughs> I do apologize. I guess I got too excited. This is to all of you. I'll try to get this done, okay? Sorry. Their Instagram account. So, the Look at Me Leech is going to teach all women how to garden, cook, and entertain. Meghan Markle sets lifestyle series and polo champion. Mothers isn't about how they can pay their bills, feed their children, or raise them to be good people. She actually thinks that stress comes from trying to manage their social media accounts, learning which way they got to swipe on their Instagram account. So, the Look at Me Leech is going to teach all women how to garden, cook, and entertain. Meghan Markle sets lifestyle series and polo championship series at Netflix. Harry and Meghan are using Archwell Productions to work with Sony Studios and Netflix to develop a kind of like his and hers reality series. <laughs> and here so many people thought that Netflix could never do comedy right. Well, first on the menu. You, you, you can't watch him and not, and not rewind it and be like, wait. Like, mothers, I mean, even just the lack of sleep because they spend all this time scrolling and scrolling but it can also be really dizzying for them. I'm fortunate in that, you know, uh, amongst the, the privileges that I have in my life, I have an incredible partner. Well, Megan seems to think that the real world pressures on new mothers isn't about how they can pay their bills, feed their children, or raise them to be good people. She actually thinks that stress comes from trying to manage their social media accounts, learning which way they got to swipe on their Instagram account. So, the Look at Me Leech is going to teach all women how to garden, cook, and entertain. Meghan Markle sets lifestyle series and polo championship series at Netflix. Harry and Meghan are using Archwell Productions to work with Sony Studios and Netflix to develop a kind of like his and hers reality series. And here so many people thought that Netflix could never do comedy right. Well, comedy. first on the menu is cooking with Walmart Wallace. You just want to have it lengthwise so that it ends up still keeping that base on there mm -hmm. because ultimately you can end up holding it like a handheld salad. Okay. Right? So we'll take a couple of the pieces out from the middle to create a bit of a boat to put our ingredients in. Well, ready? Yep, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, I gotta go back. On the menu is cooking with Walmart Wallace. You just wanna have it lengthwise so that it ends up still keeping that base on there mm -hmm. because ultimately you can end up holding it like a handheld salad, okay. right? So we'll take a couple of the pieces so. out from the middle to create a bit of a boat to put our ingredients in. We'll ready? Yep, yeah. <laughs> she who must be obeyed just got a promotion. Not only will she be able to con control control that whole set. How is that going to be interesting? Nobody's going to be able to tell her to do nothing. She's controlling how you cook. No, you got to put the the sauce over there like this, or it's going to um burn. Oh, okay. Control. I don't understand why Serena's still running around with her looking like that. She looked weird. Serena. Continue to order her ginger handbag around, but now everyone on the set. Megan just became the executive producer of both series, so she has a new title to add to her resume. Ah, okay, then you must be in the national system. Oh. She's an executive chef. She's coming. <laughs> I can't get through it. I know. That's what happened with the computer. <sighs> she didn't went. For, how many careers do she, has she had? Let's just put it that way. Okay? I'm going to move on. How many careers, how many, how many gimmicks, how many rebrands, how many restarts, how many redos? What, what, how is this different from Netflix and Spotify? How is this going to be better? What, Lil Lilibet and <laughs> Archie going to be running around? I'm like, hi, mommy. <laughs> That's going to be the difference. We're going to see the kids. Oh, are we going to just see Megan again? She has nothing to offer us. Nothing. I mean, it's, it's an unappropriate. It is. 
She missed it. She missed it. She running around here acting new. I ain't said nothing to her father. Treated. I can't. I can't will ever, ever get over the fact how she treated the black family. It's unbelievable. And it speaks for itself. Riviera. The Archie website with the royal quest. Archie Well. And the Duchess of Sussex. Uh huh. Paula wants my sister to come on. I, I'm going to tell her. She's going to love her. She's going to love her. Sure. Megan just became the executive producer of both series, so she has a new title to add to her resume. Ah, okay. Then you must be in the national system. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this you? Sorority girl, actress, influencer, victim. <laughs> yeah, that's totally bad. Cameras are going to take the audience into be able to continue to order her ginger hand. I don't remember that part. On the set. Megan just he became said, the executive producer victim, of influencer. She had a new title to add to her resume. Ah, okay, then you must be in the national system. Oh yeah, oh yeah, is this you? Sorority girl, actress, influencer, victim. <laughs> yeah, that's totally mad. Cameras are going to take the audience into the life of two Hollywood wannabes who are desperately trying to connect <laughs> and relate to everyday people. We're going to probably start with Megan in a dirty ball gown with her hands in the mud in the garden before she throws a party for her Hollywood friends and then turns around to cook up a quick tish in her multi-million dollar kitchen, which is worth about six life. Yeah. How can you get through him? I can't. It's, oh. He says she's going to be cooking some quiche. And then her multi-million dollar friend's gonna come over and eat. <laughs> Time's worth of carpet. <laughs> Serena down. Ah, okay, then you must be in the national system. Oh yeah, oh yeah, is this you? Sorority girl, actress, influencer, victim. Yeah, that's totally mad. Cameras are gonna take the audience into the life of two Hollywood wannabes who are desperately trying to connect and relate to everyday people. We're going to probably start with Megan in a dirty ball gown with her hands in the mud in the garden before she throws a party for her Hollywood friends and then turns around to cook up a quick quiche in her multi-million dollar kitchen, which is worth about six lifetimes Ooh. worth of car paint. I made a quiche the other day. It was so good. Oh, my God. It was. It was just the egg and sausage. It was so good. That's why I'm on a diet. I am. Let me know if you guys noticed me losing some weight. Because I've been really, the only thing I need to add is exercise. <laughs> I mean, that, well, more of it, more of it. Because, hey, Kara has me running. But, you know, I need that other cardio going. Okay, let me get back. He's, he's good, he's good. He's good. It's to an average person. And then it'll jump to Harry as he takes a time out from lounging by the pool and raising his rescue chickens. So, your millions from Netflix for no one knows what. Put it with the rest of them. Mr. Hasbin is really eager to show everyone how he really earns his paycheck with Netflix. He's not only going to saddle up on your screen, he's going to gallop mm -hmm. up on his high horse and show all of us how Paul... High horse. <laughs> I gotta stop. We don't know nothing about Polo. And then when I found out more about it, I felt sad for the horses. I did. I started feeling really bad for the horses. I was like, why are they treating them horses like that? And then I'm like, we don't know anything about Polo. Nothing. And found out it's a rich, like, a, like you got to be in a club. You got to be invited. Like, it ain't just... A polo. It's like a big society. Like, and you, you, you know, you got to be invited, and you can't just walk in the front door if you, if you're not a nobody like myself. Like, I wouldn't be able to go. Mm -mm. I wouldn't be invited. <laughs> it's the truth. But now he wants to do a series on it. And who's, who's your audience, Harry? You've already listen. I, I haven't heard him, but I wonder what his take is going to be. But my take is this on it. You've already, divide, your country don't like you. You're a traitor. And you haven't 
come to terms with their traitorness. So, you know, they don't really, they ain't digging you. So, you doing a polo match, they're not going to watch. <laughs> and Americans don't care. We don't watch polo. We are watching the playoffs right now. My husband is currently watching the Rangers. Mm -hmm. And I told him, he said, the what? Polo? <laughs> not that it wouldn't be a fun thing to watch, but I'm not supporting Harry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. No, not the traitor. Uh -uh. Sorry. No, I was rubbing my, my, my shoe. Sorry. Would, would you, while I'm trying to get this together, would you um, let him in? I just don't see the UK letting him in. I don't. There's the, the UK, United Kingdom, Great Britain, and London, and England, all of you guys are waiting for an apology. Sussex. Some type of, wait a minute, no. So it's it tone deaf. So who's going to watch this match? You know, the only reason they got, like, um, people to watch the Invictus is because of veterans. And veterans were watching. But no one's going to be watching this polo match making. She act like she pretty woman. <laughs> Watch that movie, Pretty Woman. She wished she was Julia. Julia is so much better than her. But you know, when they went to the polo match and, you know, they were putting the... Anyway, watch the movie. It's good. But Julia is a lady. A lady. Julia Roberts. Megan is not. She is not. She's a fake. She's a wannabe. Oh, honey, you can do polo. <laughs> well, I cook preserves in the kitchen like I'm waiting for you to come home from, uh-uh. What's that one show that's called The Stepford, the Stepford Wife? Megan is making a fool out of herself. That's what's going on. That's why I can't stop laughing. Because it is over. <laughs> and it's unfortunate. It really is. It's not that I hope that I don't sound like I want it to be over. But I'm just saying that it is. And that fake smile and facade that she walks around with. It's just pretend. That is. You can't be out unless she's just in a fantasy. <laughs> unless she's going by this vision board. Okay, if I do run out of money, I'm kicking Harry out and asking dad for money. Charles ain't giving her no money. <laughs> for what? To, to continue the lifestyle that she's living? It's going to get interesting. Alone can bridge the gap between the private jet set crowd. Because <laughs> what's going to start happening when there's money problems, that's when things are going to start getting really ugly in the household. When the money ain't there. When we can't keep up the facade anymore, that's when you'll see the cracks. That's when you'll start hearing about Harry and Megan's relationship. Oopsie daisy. As long as he keep the money flowing... They can keep the money flowing. They're good. As long as they can stay in their bubble, their Hollywood bubble, they're good. That's it. And then sit on the sidelines and say stupid stuff. But see, we're listening. We're listening to what Megan is saying. And then when she opens her mouth, that kind of stuff come out. And you're just like, like to yourself, what the what? The what? You're being bullied? No. Are you kidding? Who's bullying you? Show us.
Let's go, guys. A common everyday couch potato. That is, of course, unless his executive producer gets in the way. She's, I don't know why she's up there, for one, but she was seen sort of pushing for a prime spot on the podium. The teammates mm -hmm. were having none of it. They were this just not even four. acknowledging her, not sort of letting her participate. Even Howie was not paying her much attention. The only thing the Megans need to do to win over people's hearts next is to promote both programs under the same tagline. Give them cake. Although she keeps trying to do something, she always gets it wrong. I'm putting out one page for her new website, which you just mentioned the name of, um, was ridiculous because nothing's followed it. Netflix should cut their losses because... It's ridiculous. Nothing has followed it. There's nothing there. Even if there was something there, it still wouldn't be anything there. It wouldn't. What's going to get what? A pair of shoes? The outfits that she had on? What, what, what is going to be on there that's going to make us want to watch it every day, all the time? Because she put it out there for us to go out there and look at it. I went once and I said, what is this? It was weird. It was a weird situation. Then I thought I was on someone else's page. I said, this ain't even the right page. <laughs> mm -mm. I said, I don't want to know that bad. Let me get off. I don't care. No. I really do believe that Catherine, to me, shut her up in a sense. But Megan's back on. She's just letting us know. I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I'm going to come out with my um cookie read. And um, Harry's going to be doing polio. It still looked kind of sick for her to be poloing it and doing all this stuff when her family isn't well. But she doesn't care. Oh, no, she never did. She never did. She yet to get on the plane and go check and see. And even if she didn't, she didn't let she hasn't got on the plane and allowed those kids to go see their relatives. Knowing that, oh, that they are sick or not feeling well in a sense and would like to see their family. And if that is the case that William is trying to make amends, I think it would be because of that reason right there. But look how she holds the kids as ransom against their family. Her father has begged her and just begged and begged till he can't even beg anymore. And we are supposed to believe that she's going to have some friendship, friendship stupid stuff going on. I'm going to be cooking and making pet food. And I'm also going to be making some soup and juice. And I'm going to pepper it. And then you got to do it just like this and just like that. And then when it's all done, you put it in the oven and wait 10 minutes. And Papa do here it is, my gourmet dinner. Mm -hmm. And over here are my beautiful flower arrangements. I have them come every other day. Because I want fresh lilies in the house or fresh roses because it just makes your house smell so wonderful. And then over here is, that's that stupid stuff. That's that stupid stuff. <laughs> Ooh. And it's just going to make her look like an idiot. It is. People are not going to be watching because they're going to be like, oh, God, this is wonderful. This is the best thing she's ever done. Like, this is it right here. This is going to make her a lot of money. No, they want to go see how you're going to make a fool out of yourself. You are. Tick 2.2, dog food, nutty buddy. You put that in there.
I'm ranting, guys. The Montecito manipulators, that one trick pony is headed for the glue factory. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry weighed into politics ahead of the 2024 election. Now, the majority of the people I talk to on a daily basis say that they are sick and tired of hearing celebrities. Doesn't matter if they're A-list or D-list, bottom drawer name droppers. <laughs> they are tired of hearing celebrities talk about their personal politics. Period. End of statement. Procter and Gamble changed the commercial for their ivory clear dishwashing liquid <laughs> from women all over America to people all over America. A bold move that changes nothing. <laughs> the Mazi merchandisers are teaming up with the Hollywood Hive to fight AI machine from How many times has she told that story? How many times has she told that story? My dog knows the story. So I know how she's said it a billion times. The last time I heard it, though, when she was on a stage talking about when she was being bullied. Anyway, her neighbor, whoever she was, asked the question, well, Megan, I remember, you know, the dish soap situation. And then, oh, <laughs> pretending like she didn't know the question was coming. Yes, um, I did that. Mm-hmm. I changed the world. <laughs> Whew. Shoot. Mm -mm. This is who we dealing with. She is stuck on self. She thinks since she didn't marry her prince that everything, she's like, you know, a real Duchess. <laughs> Sorry. Seriously. Like a real, like a real Duchess. But she's not. I don't see her as a princess. I don't see her as a Duchess. I don't see her as royalty. I don't see it. Because that's not what royalty is. And you're just royalty by marriage. Period. It's, it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious that you came from a different <laughs> I'm serious. Shoot. How, if I was Harry, I would have ran so fast. Woo, I would have ran. I've been into some situations where I was like, oh, okay. This is how you're going to treat me? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it may take you a minute to get out, but when you do, you run like hell. <laughs> and don't look back because you don't want nobody controlling you. You don't want nobody telling you what to do. You don't. You want an equal partnership here. Somebody that loves you, care about you, that, excuse me, that is for you and all that great stuff. And you, the same for him. I love my husband. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm moving too fast. Slow down. Okay, here we go. Now, this says stupid stuff. Meghan Marco and Prince Harry join forces with Hollywood for election misinformation campaign. Why? So you can become Senate one day? Now, in my opinion, especially after the news reports came out, that you had the Megans are having some financial difficulties, I think they just made a big, big mistake. The, the gruesome twosome from Montecito are struggling for cash. Uh, they're going through money like water. Really? Uh, and they need to find new streams of revenue, hence American Riviera Orchard and these two new shows. Jumping into the election <laughs> arena will not help the Megans sell a single padded dog boat cover. Not one. All it will end up doing is poisoning American Riviera Orchard's brand with all potential customers especially now that the company has already lost credibility when its Instagram account was found out to have fake followers. Ooh. Then toss into that mix how they're trying to launch two fake followers. Oh, oh, girl, you are being exposed. Megan, you are dirty. <laughs> she is. Like he said, who follows? She is following the internet. Like, She's a troll. Like, seriously. 
Like she's watching everybody what, especially the Duchess of Narcissus, Narcissus. She did. She was following her. She had her in her film. Boozy did. This is crazy. It is. They're being exposed. Exposed. Netflix shows and talk about politics. Well, that's a recipe for disaster to a pair whose public image is already on life support. It's basically, I mean, these two sort of absolute narcissists, they're like, what do we do now? I know, let's make a series, one about how great I am and how everyone should emulate my life because I'm so perfect and wonderful and you want a garden like mine and you want a kitchen like mine and you want to cook some beige food like I do and you want to buy all my products from whatever it's called, Riviera Globfest McVooney. When it's raining, it's warm. A new Daily Mail poll spotlights how 68% Jeez, man. She snapped. She snapped. Just one more time. Now that the company has already lost credibility when its Instagram account was found out to have fake followers. Then toss into that mix how they're trying to launch two new Netflix shows and talk about politics. Well, that's a recipe for disaster to a pair whose public image is already on life support. It's basically, I mean, these two sort of absolute narcissists, they're like, what do we do now? I know, let's make a series, one about how great I am and how everyone should emulate my life because I'm so perfect and wonderful and you want a garden like mine and you want a kitchen like mine and you want to cook some beige food like I do and you want to buy all my products from whatever it's called, Riviera Globfest McVooney. When it's raining, it's pouring. A new Daily Mail poll spotlights how 68% of Americans give a thumbs down to American Riviera Orchard. Basically, nobody wants 60. to buy any kale butter. Told but you. I'm Told you. He got statistics. Hold on, guys. He's you got want a garden like mine, statistics. and you want a kitchen like mine, and you want to cook some beige food like I do, and you want to buy all my products from whatever it's called, Riviera Globfest McVooney. When it's raining, it's pouring. A new Daily Mail poll spotlights how 68% of Americans give a thumbs down to America. 68%? Listen. <laughs> Listen. It's telling the story. I think that some of us are... Maybe you a either you feel sorry for these two, or I don't know, but you know it's down, it's down, it is down. See, that's almost seventy percent. That's like a B minus. That's not good at all. That's a lot of people. That's over half of Americans. That is not on Megan's side anymore. Anymore. I'm not saying that she didn't once have our love, our compassion. We were rooting for her. Oh, God, yes. And then all of a sudden, just like I told Trevor, I said, I thought things would start turning around, probably around coordination. I said, maybe things would start getting better if she goes to that. And then I realized, I said, no. She's never going to change. That this is who she is. And she's evil. She's out there with her own accounts, listening and just making up the Sussex squad that's not as big as people are. It can't be. I was telling Trevor, I said 500,000 people is not a lot of people when you're used to having 9 million. 9 million. <laughs> 500,000 and she doesn't even have a million followers yet. That says something to me. It's not working. Things aren't doing that great over there in Montecito. In this Riviera cooking class, and Netflix is going to fail, unfortunately, because of who she is, who she's become. This lady snapped for a reason. She snapped 